All right, good morning, Life Skills students. We are looking at week three this week, uh, the 9th through the 13th. So let's take a look at what you've got going on. You should be taking, we're in unit three. Hopefully you've already completed the reason through a problem assignment. Um, I have those graded. If you submitted them, um, make sure you check for my feedback because I gave a bunch of you um, a lot of feedback on how to correct those because We'll be using those for this next upcoming writing assignment. But first, so you should be taking the Quiz Yourself 1 for Unit 3, Quiz Yourself 2 for Unit 3. So that means you should be reading... That was my dog yawning. Um, you should be reading Section 1 of Unit 3. You should be reading Section 2 of Unit 3. Um, hopefully you've already read those because you should have completed the Reason Through a Problem Assignment. And then taking this Unit, um, unit 3, Quiz Yourself 1 then read section 3, then the, take the quiz yourself 2, then read section 4, and you have the whole week to do this, so don't freak out. Um, so you should be reading through section 4, uh, and then completing this writing assignment, the problem solving report. So with this assignment, this needs to be a report, it's more of a paper, like a, a written paper, um, with at least five uh, paragraphs and basically you're turning your reason assignment into a report so if you did a good job on your reason assignment you can just kind of use that as your outline and um, turn it into a, a report so um, I will along with this video and the announcements I'll put a link to a graphic organizer to help you kind of with organizing your your paper and how you should be writing it um, but again, it's going to contain most of the same information that should already be in your paper. What information did you gather? What sources did you use? What choices and consequences did you consider? I, I think I sent something back to almost everybody on how to correctly write their choices and consequences. So make sure you uh, look at that. I also wrote to, to almost everybody on how you should be wording your problem. Remember we talked about that in the class connect that we should be wording these problems as an open-ended question so what should I do about dot 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 whatever it is um, so after you analyze some choices and consequences you pick one choice and explain why that is the best choice and um, your plan of action reflect on your decision if you've made the decision and what you would maybe do differently next time so that is the problem solving report and then by Friday you should also be getting this unit 3 exam taken. So we need to be finishing up unit 3 um, by the end of the week along with that writing assignment. Right here, week 3. Alright, um, many of you kind of started to fall behind last week so hopefully you kick it into gear this week and get caught up. There's really, the, quiz, the quizzes will be pretty quick. The writing assignment, you already have the outline put together for it, so it shouldn't be too bad, and then the Unit 3 exam. Okay, let me know if you have questions.